uh, my presentation is entitled is of relate uh, to psychopathology i'm start I out that this presentation is divided in five parts that uh, we can visualize now in this slide. Uh, to go ahead and answer the question whether homophobia is related to self first I would like to mention that each of the psychopathological disorders have a set of criteria that define them as such as part of psychopathy. I will mention whether Phobia has criteria to be classified as psychopathology. In this sense, some years ago, a group of researchers proposed that homophobia, among other forms, could be part of a personality disorder, which they called intolerant personality disorder. Subsequently, in 2015, an uh, analytical study, it was observed that homophobia was related to certain dimensions of psychopathology. Uh, uh, the data from the 2015 uh, study generated some interest. However, it cannot be definitely stated that homophobia is a psychopathology. Uh, there is actually little literature addressing this issue. However, homophobia generates significant barriers to the LGBT community, and homophobia has been estimated to cost 126 billion US dollars per year globally, representing 0.17% of gross domestic product. And in this sense, several countries have tried policies in societies with high homophobia. Finally, another aspect that accompanies a psychopathology is the deterioration that it produced in the individual's functionality and quality of life. So one objective of this work was to determine whether homophobia is a predictor of uh, detriment in the quality of life. But first, what is homophobia? There are several definitions. Bamer in the 96s elaborated first definition of phobia for both we have the definition of Lozano and Diaz uh, that says that homophobia is understood as negative attitude towards homosexuality. And now uh, let's apply the current criteria for defining a pathology to homophobia. Uh, the first is criteria is whether homophobia is a behavior whose frequency deviates statistically. However, it is difficult to answer this question since the data on its prevalence come from specific and small samples. And homophobia is defined and assessed differently in these studies. According to the study consulted, the prevalence of homophobia can range from 7% to 18% of the samples evaluated. The second criteria is whether the homophobic behavior deviates from social standards. Uh, the answer is also complex since the homosexuality barriers vary in different cultures, countries, and religions. Uh, but we could say that in most Western countries, there are more and more laws that protect the rights of the LGBT community which will bring homosexuality um, closer to a greater social acceptance and rejection of homophobia. The third criteria is uh, where homophobic behavior is malignant in the person generated and even affects the individual's ability to carry out that activities. This is a difficult question to answer since there is no evidence on the issue. And finally, the fourth is where homophobia produces personal discomfort in the perpetrator. Here, the answer seems to be no homophobic behavior syntonic. Uh, now, well, in 2000, uh, 2015, Choka 
study in the Journal of Sexual Medicine in which his aim was to negate the correlation between psychopathological symptoms, defense mechanisms, and attachment style with homophobia. And in a sample of five, 560 college students, he found in a population analysis that psychopathology accounted for 38% of the variance in homophobia for observed Ensure defense mechanisms and psychotism predict the population. It was written that Amahoya is part of the
Hello. Uh, doctor, I hardly can hear you. Is this my uh, internet problem or is this yours? I don't know. Can you? Um, can you hear, I can hear very well. Sorry, I hardly, hardly can hear you.